Hi, today we're going to talk about combined effect of aggregate supply and aggregate demand. So, increase in aggregate demand will definitely increase price and increase output. And uh, uh, increase in aggregate supply increases output and decreases price level. So, uh, when we talk about uh, uh, combined effect of aggregate demand and aggregate supply we can say when both aggregate demand and uh, uh, aggregate supply increase so in this case uh, AD, AD0 move to AD1 and SAS move to SC0 so in this case we do see increase in GDP and uh, if they both decrease, so we can say we'll see the decrease in GDP. But uh, it's difficult to uh, ascertain when one increases and other decreases. It totally depends on the magnitude of uh, of ag aggregate demand or magnitude of aggregate supply uh, by which they are increasing or decreasing. So that's the reason decrease in aggregate demand and increase in aggregate supply it's kind of uncertain it depends on their magnitude and same thing when decrease in aggregate supply and increase in aggregate demand uh, price level so when we when we say aggregate demand is increasing we can see the price level is is increases and uh, when we say the aggregate supply is decreasing uh, that time we can say the price level increases so we can say increase in aggregate demand and decrease in aggregate supply increases the price level and we can talk about the the, the other situation when the decrease in aggregate demand and increase in aggregate price will decrease the price level in this case so and uh, since uh, the change in aggregate demand and change in aggregate supply uh, their magnitude decides whether the price level will increase or decrease in case when both the aggregate uh, supply and aggregate demand increases and when they both decreases thank you